Oh yes, I'm back to take you through another story that is uh, making headlines in the country. But uh, don't forget to subscribe on the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. And also follow me on TikTok, uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Yes, there is another police officer who has committed suicide. Yes, the latest reports I'm uh, getting on the Buzz UG, there is another police officer who has committed suicide. This police officer has been identified as Anganzu. Yes, that is uh, the gentleman right there on your screen. Uh, he's been identified as Anganzu and uh, this gentleman right here actually wrote his last words to the wife and I'm going to read them. Actually, I'm going to flash them on the screen so that we read them together. Yes, Anganzu has committed suicide and uh, the reason he did put it right here. I think, uh, let me flash the, 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 the statement on your screen uh, so that we can all read it together. Let me flash the, the, his last words on the screen uh, so that we can actually get to read his last words together. But uh, it's very sad. It's very, very sad. Uh, the statement reads, My last words are, collect what you can carry, go back to your parents before the news breaks, move tonight, keep my daughter safe, don't beat her. She's the only blood I have left behind. Tell her daddy loves her. Goodbye. I am no more. Reason, economic hardship, too much responsibilities, too much debts, poor living conditions. Judith, just go. Don't call anyone. I have too much debts. Please, I am sorry. Well, those are the last words this police officer wrote to his wife, uh, who's been identified as uh, Judith, and uh, it is very, very unfortunate. May he so rest in peace. But uh, a few weeks ago, we had a related incident. Of course, uh, that is uh, the story of uh, Private Wilson Sabiti, uh, the guy who killed his boss, uh, that is uh, the former Minister of Labor, uh, Colonel Charles Engola. Uh, it is kind of this, you know, this story is kind of related, but uh, I would like to tell everybody out there, don't get yourself to this point because uh, we are all going through hard times. So if we all say that we are taking this direction, definitely uh, no one is going to remain right here in Uganda. Maybe President Museven and his family and, uh, you know, other people in government, they are the ones who are going to remain right here. But we are all going through tough times. So let's try to relax and calm down. Otherwise, everyone is going through tough times times but it's very very unfortunate may his soul rest in peace yes so that is uh, the latest update right here on the buzz ug i thought i should pass by and keep you updated about uh, you know this story so that you know you don't say i didn't update you i mean this is my responsibility right here on the buzz ug to keep you posted on the stories that are making headlines in the country otherwise subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications don't forget to follow me on tiktok Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you.